guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are gonna talk about romantic drama movie Fifty Shades Darker which is a part of the sequel Fifty Shades of Grey. Before we get into the video please consider it to subscribe to our channel. After Anna and Christian's breakup, Christian was sleeping at night. Then he has nightmares from his childhood. He overhears his father abusing his mother. The little Christian hides himself but father drags him out and beats him. In another scene Anna is shown who has got a new job. Christian sends her flowers with the good wishes. She was about to toss them out but she decides to keep them. Anna's boss name is Jack and she has to work for him as an assistant. Since 18 months three girls have left this job and Anna is the fourth one. Anna was followed by a strange girl around the town. She goes to attend an art show where she was invited by her friend Joe. She gets surprised to see that there were so many photos of her hanging all around. Her friend tells her that if she knew it before she would never come. Then the art director comes and says all the photos of Anna have been purchased. Anna again gets confused and was looking around. And of course it was Christian. He comes from behind. Anna asks him so it is you who did this. He says I don't want someone to see you except me. He invites her for the dinner on which she agrees. Over dinner Christian expresses his desire to retain his relationship with Anna. Anna does not want him to inflict his dominant desires on her. He says there will be no rules and conditions. Anna asks him to keep nothing as secret in between them. He was agreed to all her terms and conditions. Anna says you didn't want to keep relationship with one girl only but Christian says I want you only. I need nothing except you. I will only do whatever you want. They eventually renew their relationship and they get intimated. Christian drops her to her home and when she was closing the window of her room she sees a girl who was looking towards her window. Next day when Anna goes to a bar to meet Christian she gets approached by the same girl who then calls Anna by her name. Anna asks her about who is she and do they know each other. Girl says no and just then Jack comes there and pulls Anna with him because he was also going to the same bar. So the woman could not say much. In the bar Christian sees Jack and Anna together and becomes suspicious about his intentions for Anna when he was trying to flirt with Anna. Christian says that she is my girlfriend and takes Anna with him. Anna asks Christian that you did not have to talk to my boss like this. Christian says he was trying to steal what's mine. Then they go for a shopping. After shopping, at Anna's home Christian informs her that he has purchased the company and now he is Anna and Jack's boss. While talking Anna tries to seduce Christian. They spend the whole night together. In the morning Anna returns Christian a $24,000 check which he had given her to keep. He tells her that I can make this much money in minutes. Anna rips the check off and says why would I keep your money. He calls his assistant and asks her to transfer the same money to Anna's account. Anna gets confused that how does he know my account details. Anna and Christian then go out for the breakfast. He invites her to a party arranged by his parents. She says I don't have party dress on which Christian says her it is not big deal. When they were talking to each other, Anna sees the same girl who was following her. She tells Christian about the girl and also that she has a bandage around her hand. Christian asks her to leave the place. Anna suspects Christian that he must know something about her. She inquires him about it. At Christian's house he pulls out a file containing photographs of the girl and tell Anna that her name is Layla Williams and she is his former lover who was on a contract with him two years before. She expected more than a contract relationship from him so he ended up the contract. Lilia got married to another man who got a car accident and died. She got a nervous disorder after that. He also tell her that when we were in Georgia I came here and cut her wrist vein. When I reached hospital, she had left. Christian keeps a file of every girl with whom he has kept a relationship. Anna asks him if he has her file also on which he shows Anna's file to her. She says him it is wrong you make me so confused. You have purchased the company in which I work. She says it looks like you are my boss rather than my boyfriend. He says I never knew you will turn out different from all. Anna says I want to make this relationship strong. I want to understand you but how will I understand you? You even don't let me come near you. He takes her to his bedroom and makes her draw lines on his body with a lipstick. He says that this is my boundary and you cannot touch these areas. Then they go to the party arranged by his mother. There are bidding ceremony helds and the money gathered by that will be given to charity. When it comes to one week vacation package at Christian's house, Anna bids it for $24,000, the same $24 which Christian has transferred to Anna's account. In the bathroom she meets Alina Christian's stepmother. Anna does not want to talk to her and tells her that she knows what she did with Christian. Anna also knew that she is Christian's dominant. Alina says that she taught him the right direction of his life. You look like a girl who would never like to get dominated by anyone. If you want to be happy and keep Christian happy, you have to leave him and go away from his life. Anna says people like you can never understand our relationship and will never let us stay happy. She leaves from there and asks Christian to drop her to her house. While leaving he catches sight of Alina and he understands that she must have said something to Anna. Actually Christian's mother was a drug addict prostitute. Once she was overdosed and brought to the hospital, he met Grace Gray in the hospital who adopted him. 
When they reach home, they see Anna's car which was completely damaged by the girl who was following Anna. Anna becomes sad at it and also Christian gets worried for her as he knew the girl's mental conditions were not good. At Anna's office Jack tells Anna that he has to go to New York and asks her to book the tickets for him and also for herself as he will need his assistant there. She cannot refuse as he is her boss. When she tells Christian about it on a message he stops her to go and says we will discuss it later as I am in a business meeting. Later at Christian's house they again get into the physical contact. At the dinner Anna says Christian that she has to go to New York. Christian says that if you want to go to New York I will take you there and Anna agrees for this. In the office, when Anna refuses Jack to come with him he tries to misbehave with her. She hits him and runs away. Outside the office she hits into Christian. She tells him that Jack has tried to touch her. Christian's blood boils hearing this and he says I will not leave him alive. Anna stops him but he sends his man to him. Later we get to know that Jack was fired from his job and Anna gets appointed on his seat as she was good at work. But Anna has a doubt that it can be done by Christian. At dinner she asks him about it but he completely denies and asks her if she does not trust him. She says I have trust in you but not in myself. Christian asks her to live with her on which she agrees. Anna goes to her office cabin to take her belongings as there appears Layla who is stalking them since many days. She says her that Christian treats you like he treated no one of us. What is the different in you which he doesn't see in us? She pulls a gun and points it toward Anna. Anna tries to convince her by saying that Christian still cares about you. She shots a fire on the wall. Hearing it Christian and his bodyguard arrive. Christian asks her to give the gun to him and she gives it to him. Then he orders Layla to get down on her knees and she does the same. It looks like she was just hypnotized. She was just acting all upon his orders. Anna was amazed to see this all and believes that Christian cannot get away without being a dominant. Christian tells Anna to go home and orders his bodyguard to take her. Anna doesn't sit in his car and leaves by herself. Christian gets anxious on this but she returns after three hours. Christian is enraged when Anna returns home until she explains him what she thinks about his dominance and tries to go from there. He then turns to Anna and gets down on his knees pleading her not to leave him. On seeing this Anna also gets down and asks him why does he do so. He tells that he loved to bother and torture the girls who look like you. Anna says like me or like your mother. He tells her that when you left me I had decided to leave it all. I had decided I will never do it again with any girl. Christian says Anna by putting her hand on his heart that I'm totally yours and you have to believe me. But was for the first time as he never let her put hand on his heart. They get emotional. At night they gets intimated with each other. When Christian was sleeping he has another nightmare and he gets scared very much. Anna comes to him and comforts him. He asks Anna for marriage and says maybe I'm somehow different but I want you to be with me my whole life. Anna replies you are, but not that much. She still hasn't answered to his proposal. Anna gets to know that it is Christian's birthday on Sunday. Christian has to travel to Portland with business partners. Anna gives him a gift and asks him to open it on his birthday. When he was returning from there he was flying the helicopter by his own. His helicopter's engine stops working causing their helicopter to crash in the forest. Anna hears about the news with Christian's family. They all were worried but then the news breaks that Christian and his assistant are safe and they are heading towards home. Just then Christian enters the room. Everyone embraces him and becomes very happy on seeing him safe and sound. Anna asks him do you still have the gift which I gave you? He says yes and when he opens it, it was a keychain written yes on back of it. After watching it Christian becomes overwhelmed with joy as it was Anna's reply to his proposal. Later in his birthday party Christian announces the news of his engagement with Anna. Anna then confronts Alina who accuses her to be a gold digger. Anna splits wine on her face Christian approaches them and he asks Alina to leave. Alina says she is not a right choice for you on which he says you have destroyed me but Anna has recovered me now. Just then Christian's mother overhears them arguing and comes there. She slaps on Alina's face and asks her to leave. Then Christian takes Anna to a boathouse and proposes her for marriage with a ring. She accepts his proposal and the firework begins. Then they join all the guests. And they were watching the firework when Jack was on the other side of the lake who appeared to be out for revenge lighting up a cigarette which shows a little brief about the beginning of the next part which is Fifty Shades Freed. Here the movie comes to an end. Hope you enjoyed the movie. If you enjoyed please hit the like and subscribe to us also hit the bell icon to stay notified about all the upcoming videos. Don't forget to suggest us any other movie you want us to recap. Thank you.